I can't promise no spoilers in this review, but I can promise this won't be a spoiler full review and this won't be a spoiler free review. Hey everyone, welcome to Sway Bay Anime of the Nanette Lesbian. So today we're going to talk about season five, episode one premiere. Yes. Okay, so let me get into the review. So it was really, I really liked it, even though, I, no, I really liked it. And I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if y'all didn't like it. I really liked it. And I'm and like, for those who haven't seen it yet, it's really good. And you guys should watch it. It's not one of those deeper, like, Rick and Morty episodes, or it's not the back, you know, it's not the ones that show the past as much, or it's not the ones, it's not the ones, like, that show the past, or, you know, go they go to the Cynodol or anything like that. But it was a really fun, quirky episode, and I really like it. So you have this character named Nimbus, and he's, like, really wild, and he controls the police, um, by the way. Like, what kind of power is that? Uh, I hope we see more of him. We're probably going to see him as the show goes on, like maybe towards the final. And that seems really cool. And then we have um, Morty. He's finally trying to get with Jessica in this episode. Uh, and that seems really cool, too. And then we have Rick, who's like trying to like do everything possible to like appease Nimbus so that he doesn't destroy the world. But he's like, it's just so funny because Nimbus is like, I'm going to destroy the world or I'm going to make the land wet. And then Rick was like, Rick is like, oh my gosh, he sucks, he sucks. But apparently they've been knowing each other for years and they've been fighting each other for years. And I think that was just such a cute um, remnants of it. And then also the B-plot was pretty good. No summer in this episode, which is like, oh, I love summer. Anyway, but yeah, it was just still like a really good episode. And the B-plot was really funny and fun. And it came into the A-plot, so that was cool. So then we have this guy named Hoovy, who is like this cute little animal man. And it's just like... He, he goes out to help Morty get some wine, and then Morty goes get some wine, and he's like, he helps him, but then the porter closes, and in their area, and Morty didn't pay attention to what Rick said, is that it ages decades in there, and because it ages decades in there, uh, the, the time when they go to Morty's universe, it goes slower. So, Morty didn't pay attention to that, so that caused him way more issues for not listening. But, you know, I don't think he really recognized that. And we, yeah, so I thought that was, like, funny, like a funny touch to it. And then Morty was just like, why are they just being so mean to me? It's because, like, Hoovy's family literally died on when he came back after helping Morty. And because years has passed, so he always had blamed Morty for it. Um, and he just that. Uh, and then also when Morty came back, he you know Hoovy punched Morty and then Morty beat up Hoovy and then like for generations and centuries and like a society it was just like built around like catching like Morty and like the things he has done and stuff like that and like all the technology so that was a really cute plot it was very sci-fi I loved it it's kind of funny of like Beth and Jerry being like sex positive um yeah so this episode is very worth watching great other than that this has been Sway Bay Anime peace <laughs>